The Viking Twin Otter Series 400 is at home in more places and in more ways than any other aircraft. As a 19-passenger commuter, search and rescue, cargo-carrying workhorse, or even as an executive transport, the Series 400 fills all roles at low cost, from paved runways, water, ice, or even mud. Extremely reliable and very easy to maintain, the world's leading utility aircraft, Viking Twin Otter Series 400. Versatility that works. One of the unique things about the Twin Otter is the flight control system. Not only do you have uh, ailerons and flaps, but you have four flaps as well, inboard and outboard four flaps. When you um, select the flaps to move downward, it actually lowers the floor flaps at the same time. Another unique feature of the Twin Otter flight control system on the 400 series is the flight position sensors. Flight position sensors are used to monitor the uh, travel of the flight control units. Flight position units also are used to record flat position. Um, they're used to record rudder trim and elevator trim position, which are displayed on the cockpit screens. So we're having a look at the tail of the Twin Otter, having a look at the flight controls here. Uh, cable operated flight control mechanisms. Inside the inspection window here, elevator bell crank assembly. Um, cable operated uh, elevator trim tab through a jack assembly which is located here which extends and retracts to control the tab. The elevator trim control is from the pilot's uh, right hand armrest. In addition, the rudder trim control is also from the right end pilot's armrest. Interesting fact about this airplane is the trim has a uh, electronic indicator on the apex displays and it has a position sensor measuring trim travel or jack travel here so they can display the uh, amount of trim in the cockpit. One of the unique features on the Twin Otter is the simplicity of the flight control system, in particular the rudder control system, cable operated control system to the rudder bell crank, bell crank moves the rudder to the left and right hand side. Inside there's uh, polyurethane blocks located on the rudder support mechanism that stop the rudder in the left and right hand positions. These are easily accessible in the field by taking off these guards and inspecting the cables and the rudder horn and the lower bearing. 